Best greetings from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fursov, and this is the channel Viktor Fursov, entomologist, beekeeper, teacher. And today, February 21st, 2016. And actually, I am a research scientist, I am an entomologist, and I'm sitting here with this my research assistant, which is actually freely paid just by food, like all research assistant assistants in Ukraine. So easily to keep this assistant. So. But I will tell you the story about beetles. So, if you are interested in beetles, if you are interested in how to eat beetles, so follow my channel. And why it is interesting? Because this beetle is very special. And it's in Ukraine and in Russia and in some other countries all around the world. And this is a very unique beetle which is sitting here inside these boxes. Yes. And what is the name of this beetle? Actually, this beetle attracted attention because of his possible medical influence on the health of humans. Yes, and this is a beetle named Ulamoides dermistoides. And this beetle is sitting here inside this petri dish as well, by the way, because I am studying it here in my not in laboratory, but in my kitchen. So I can show you a little bit far away, maybe. So this petri dish is full of beetles, by the way. This beetle attracted attention of all public because people try to use this beetle to take care about health, just to fight against some diseases. But start, let's start talk about this beetle, about his biology. Because this beetle appeared in Ukraine. And actually I have here a publication of our colleague. This is publication of Dr. Lubov Cherney. And it's published in Ukrainian Entomological Journal in 2015. And here in Ukrainian, in Russian language, is described the bi biology of this beetle. So, it's indicated here that this species is synanthropic species, urban species, which is, have not been found in native conditions before, and found approximately in 2012. Well, yes, in 2012 it was recorded in Ukraine as a new genus, a new species of beetles, darkling beetles of the family Tenebrionide. And this beetle is pretty small. It's sitting here and size about 5-6 uh, millimeters only. So, this beetle has a special smell, by the way, so that's why I'm talking about it. And this beetle eating different, different food. And it's easily developed, it's easily reared in the laboratory, and it can be easily probably reared outside laboratory, just in a field, as a pest. Because this beetle, what is sitting here, actually in this jar, quite a lot of them here, larvae and adults. And here larvae and adults eating some cereals and some groats. Yes. So what are they eating? Larvae and also some adults, the same way eating different groats, flavor products, okay, dried fruits, even some dry nuts, even can eat pollen, just fresh fruits as well, vegetables, meat, fish, egg, tea, and even just cork. Yes, the cork from the bottle. Well, for these beetles, there is a cannibalism and predaceous behavior. And the adults live in four and four and a half months, so, and the development of uh, this beetle from the AFT until imago or adult in general in an, in an average about 40 days. 40 days, so egg is just 0 0.7 millimeters and some mm, some food like a peas, like a rice, millets are not suitable for adults and for larvae, because this is very tough food. But some cereals and even some 
fresh bread and groats like this oatmeal is a very suitable this is very suitable for food for this beetle and by the way when this beetle is growing developing here inside this jar it's possible to count how many of them so inside cereals about just the volume 40 50 uh, centimeters which was completely eaten till the feces it was collected 247 adults 11 pupa and about 1000 for 1800 larvae and about 2200 larvae had a first and second stage so about 2000 larvae in just in a small piece of uh, food like okay 40 50 centimeters volume well so we are developing very quickly so when these beetles they are frightening so they have been frightened so they just excrete kind of sick secret and just it smells it smells yeah the smell is a little bit str strange it's not so awful it's not so awful because beetles beetle is gorgeous gorgeous actually the name of this beetle was given in 2000 english name is it like a chinese withel or gorgocho china so because the name is this is probably spanish name gorgocho gorgocho beetle and chinese withel no connection with the real withels because just as a beetle this is a darkling beetle to be correct in the taxonomical position but this beetle you can you can recognize can eat different food so that's his behavior okay her behavior because females are growing anyway well but for making a culture it's easy to keep it in petri dishes like here i keep it in petri dishes i separated 10 by 10 different beetles to see how they will be growing so but here i just separated only beetles and gave him some cakes so he already no cake only beetles they ate completely all food inside so i will be trying to show it just in big size just magnification well so you can recognize only beetles and they are eating even just a paper inside this petri dish so i need to give them a little bit more cereal yes it's easy to do so you're taking and giving them some cereals yes okay and the same just is here i can show you how many of them here my camera okay zoom is automatical but i'm not sure okay that's visible how many of them sitting here eating bread and some groats and cereals and dry bread yeah, they're growing very fast and I tell you the story why they're growing here yeah, and what is interesting in this beetle and we will do experiment about this beetle finally well because this beetle considered to be medically useful useful in Chinese folk medicine because some people try to use it not with bread I would say like instead of red just to cure some not very pleasant diseases including such diseases like asthma parkinson's diabetes arthritis even hiv and cancer yeah even just the baddest disease but you see thousands of, th of these beetles were just eaten by different people for experiment to test it and there are no proven proven results published in a scientific journal proven uh, statistically proved that these beetles they have some positive influence on people but what is important why you're saying about medical influence 
Because people eating these beetles. You, you, you can recognize eating beetles by just eating it inside, right? This is like insectophagy. Or well, how people eat this beetle. Because actually the medical influence coming from this beetle, because beetle send in this secret when they are frightening. If you catch them, it would touch them, so the smell is going. So the smell is going here. Pretty strange, pretty strange, yeah. But this secret is considered to be medically important. So for that, people eating these beetles in a big number, okay, in a huge number, okay, for beginning it's better to try to use it in a small number. Uh, for instance, people are considered to eat it, okay, how many of them? And just about, if you have a weight, just a 70, 70 kilograms, so you can eat 70 beetles per day. So, for example, 35 and 35 evening, 35 morning and 35 evening. So that's why I will do this experiment to show you how people eat it. But if I said to you, it was not proved that these diseases like asthma, Parkinson's, diabetes, arthritis, HIV and cancer were cured. But nevertheless, people tried to use it and it was not proved that polyarthritis, low back pain, sinusitis, arthritis were cured. But who knows, if you want to test it, you can make experiment like me, but you can test it just before eating, before food. So just I didn't have lunch, didn't have dinner, so I'm hungry, so I will eat this, not uh, 35, I put here just a small number of beetles, Okay, 20 beetles here inside the glass. I can show you again. So to be sure that these beetles inside. So not many of them, just 20. And they're alive. Yes, they're alive. Don't forget about it. The most important that they're alive. So these chemicals just spread out of the body, out of the abdomen of these beetles, must be coming inside your mouth and just inside your stomach. And it's not dangerous. To be sure, because you can put beetles in water so they will die. Sorry about that. It's not ethical matter, but they will die, but they will be useful maybe to cure you. If you believe that they are useful. So how to do it? Okay, just put it in water. So and say kampai, like in Japan. So and drink the water with these beetles. Don't worry, beetles will not crawl in inside your body, inside your stomach. Stomach because they are dying very quickly without air and inside water and inside your esophagus and stomach. So fluid inside, so they will stop. So, come by. Very funny. So I have more water. inside. <coughs> I feel only cold water. So they're coming inside. So this is experiment because you know some scientists, many scientists, they tested many things on their own organism like a Louis Pasteur, like a Jordi Marie Curie. All of them they tested Okay, their subjects, uh, even microorganisms, even the radiation of their body, and sometimes it was not healthy, totally not healthy for Julie Marie Curie, but for Louis Pasteur it was okay. So, I tested it just for experiment and to show how people do it. So, let's drink what I come by. So, not dangerous. Not dangerous. Maybe, maybe. These beetles, they have some kind of a medical influence, so you can test it yourself. But some people said with a um, big trust, I trust uh, these people, uh, they, have it, they are really trustworthy for me, that if you have kind of a 
and blood bleeding inside your mouth, inside, around your teeth. So maybe you have kind of some dental diseases, dental problems. If you can keep some of these tiny beetles inside your oral cavity, just inside your saliva, like I take it, one, I use with my forceps, two, I can take some more, wait, 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 two, and eat it, not eat it, just put it inside your Turn your mouth with with spray with chemical. Looks like this is a special taste. We are dying inside saliva. We are dying inside saliva. So you can keep it, and your saliva will influence on some of your on your teeth, on your teeth. So with some of my colleagues who tested it. We said that your bleeding, bleeding of your blood in, in, around your teeth stopped. So you can try to test it. So because it's quite useful. Probably this is not dangerous. And actually, beetle, yeah, with that here, like that. We're already done. So for 15, for 10, 15 minutes, we can keep saliva inside with all the secret of these beetles. Hmm. Test it yourself how it's going on. So you can check it yourself. If you're interested to find this beetle, you can check actually internet. You can ask me and write in your comments. You write your comments here down there. I'm not quite sure how these beetles widely spread somewhere in Canada and in America or just in Europe. So I'm just talking about Ukraine and Russia and surrounding countries. I nevertheless I'm speaking in uh, in English just to make fun and just to communicate with people all around the world in Japan, in Australia, in North America, in South America, so to show how it's possible to test it. Even some people giving these beetles for the assistance like this dog, if they have some kind of problems with their teeth or with their health. And some people said that it was useful. So, thank you for watching. This was an experiment with Chinese withel Ulamoides Dermistoides. My name is Victor Furso. And thank you for watching. Okay, see you soon on my channel. Subscribe to my channel. And please write your comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Good luck. See you soon on my channel. Bye-bye.